Hey what's up guys, it's Emmy from the ET Reviews here and I've got a quick video on how to install OSMC to your brand new Raspberry Pi. So here we head over to the website, this is the new version of Raspberry MC or as you might know it to be called Kodi. So they have shut down these and they've released this new software so it's available for Mac, Windows and Linux. Right now I'll be installing it on my Mac. So you want to head over to the website and click here to download it. So once we click there, it'll just take a couple of minutes to download there. And once we have that done, we just click open on that. And then we'll just open up the file here, click open again. And then once that's done, we'll head over to the application itself. We'll choose the language, we want to choose English of course. And we can choose between the Raspberry Pi 1 and 2, so it does work for both. And we'll just click through the steps like I have done and we want it on the SD card and our OSMC will connect through a wired connection for me. Now we want to click the right SD card here, mine is the 8 gig. make sure you know which one you're clicking because we don't want to have it installed on a different drive that we don't want it on. So here we'll just uh, accept that license yeah, and we'll click next and we click yes again. So we take a couple of minutes to download this so you might want to make yourself a cup of tea and then come back but it does happen quite quickly anyway so uh, what OSMC can do basically it's got media center capability, it's got airplay built in, you can do things like um, stream movies, things like that, watch TV on it and so yeah once this is all done it'll say installing on it and we just click the personal data, we click yes and then what we want to do is once it's done installing It'll say it's that like it's installed and we want to head over and put our SD card into our Raspberry Pi. And then once we've done that, we can boot up our Raspberry Pi and there will be a, a few multiple reboots. But then once that's all done, you'll have OSMC running on your device. So there you go, guys. Please like the video. And if you have any comments, please go ahead and comment below. Um, no one really reads the manual, but yeah, you can do if you want. So here's the actual board itself. It's got four USB 2.0 ports. I was quite surprised that they didn't include...